early morning to you, mates. Yeah, mate. 2.43 in the morning here. It's 5.43 a.m. here, and uh, I've had about three and a half hours sleep, as you're all going to notice as I keep yawning all during the cast here, because I had a very, very late night at work. Today we have uh, a couple of casts early, and then some more later on. We have I Hate My Team uh, and Italian Guards. Then what do we have for that? Because I don't know. Is... We have your own team that you played on during the group oh, stage. Yeah. Loot versus 58 Grand <laughs> Dragoons. I'll jump tired. Uh, I don't even know uh, what the schedule is this morning. <laughs> That's all right. We're online. We're awake. Uh, the lobby isn't working again today, though. Uh, Kongalore did fix it during the week, but for some reason, mine isn't working but uh that's okay uh there's been a little bit of a delay guys uh getting players in and ready so we'll tell them to get the bands underway we'll flick over to that page ready they can get started so yeah running a little bit behind this morning but eh, we're still here that, that's all also just to quickly let everyone know um over on leagues two we'll also be having bear claw shout casting KDCM versus Russian Jade Falcon. Yep. Uh, I have a team band Polar Highlands. Indeed. When's Bear Claw start? About half an hour, I think, doesn't it? Mm hmm. Okay, so just, uh, refreshing the pages here. You're taking guys having some minor problems. There we here go. There we go. No uh, band mining. There we go. Now we're off and running. Mining, okay. It makes sense, Rumbo. This is a team that, you know, prefers to trade at long oh. range. Ooh, form line. Okay. Gonna be Canyon or HBG. Oh, okay. Tourmaline, Canyon, and then HBG. Alright, okay. Of course they're gonna make me swap their yeah. Okay, so what is it? The Italian guards are on team one for both map so far for the Tourmaline and Canyon network. What about yep. BG? Kong's asking for map explanations, but well, that's not my job. <laughs> Dream. And it a bit of luck. Nearly had the uh, play there. No, at least you've only got to swap teams over once. Yeah. Like now. would be very nice. Not complaining about that. Okay, so... No, I don't need to swap teams over at all. Perfect. That's good. All right, well, uh, we're up to Torm line first. Would you like to do a little bit of uh, drawing on the map strat here? 
Fine on the map straight to actually refresh. Yeah, a little bit slow this morning, actually. I've no, I was no, same thing. Mm. A little bit, a little bit slow. I loaded it about three minutes ago and it still hadn't loaded the map up. So the last time I saw both his teams play on Tom line um, in the last round, they were, Kenner were actually playing on the team one side and um, ITX were actually playing on the team two side. Um, I'm just going to draw a couple of things while you're talking and just talk about what I've drawn. Yep, that's okay. Boom is starting to come up now, which is good. I don't know why any of my updates aren't working. Oh, my scoreboard not working today again. Well, sorry, chat. I don't know why my scoreboard is not going to be working. I did update everything. I'll have to have another third, fourth look at it, actually. No idea what's going on this time around. Very strange stuff. But like I said, don't forget, uh, there will be a... Asked on MWO Leagues 2, and that will be starting very shortly. Uh, about another 30 minutes, and that will be uh, KDCM versus uh, RJF. Okay, here's the drawings. Some lines, lines all over the map. That's what lines, see. lines love. <laughs> so, for G6 Fire, um, we've seen a couple of teams used because you can inch about two separate mechs up there. Um, the problem is that you get a few teams who don't pay attention to what's going on around them. Uh, they'll sit there advanced zooming, just focusing on what's sniping them, and then just get, you know, their butts tickled by a commando or the like, come out behind them. Uh, that happened to ITX in the last round against KDCM, probably something they'll be paying attention to. Um, as far as Kino goes, when they were playing against GNX on this map, they actually... Won the cap game, um, but their commando pilot was AFK for the first 30 seconds of a drop, which wound up costing them the entire match. Yikes. That's a yikes. Mm. Okay, just wait for you guys to ready. As far as what we'll see from each team, I think you'll see ITX bringing a pretty static trading deck. Looking to just control fader with um, Overwatch Fire of yeah, large lasers. Um, their light play hasn't been uh, the greatest, to be honest, and I think they'd agree with that. Um, from Kino, they'll probably be confident in their ability to trade against these guys and let's play a little bit more dynamic as far as shifting position. Um, you previously saw them bringing along a bit more PPCs. So I think they've changed their minds now and gone uh, yeah, large lasers. is probably a bit better call. Sorry, just letting Team 2 know we've got five minutes. Yep. I'm just updating uh, some Discord notifications here for everybody. ITX locked in, ready to go. And yeah, we'll probably see some uh, ITX guys in. Oh, hang on. Oh, I always make them over here. Five, maybe someone roaming in and around there. Now, whether my team send anyone to this area will be interesting or not. Some teams have, some teams haven't. I've even seen some teams do sort of this and try and force the team one out um, from sort of coming around the back the D6 way, which is. I'm not sure if that works or not. I haven't seen it work yet, and it won't. Like, like all good things. If you don't see it, doesn't mean it ain't going to work. Especially if you catch a team off guard. It can definitely, definitely play a, a, a uh, play of part. Well, to be honest, I'm not sure what you can even see from these guys. Like, half of them haven't played in about, you know, since, in fact, most of them haven't played as an organized group in any way, shape, or form since last week's comp matches. Mm -hmm. 
on out just how uh can you can can you just rock up and win? I don't know. <laughs> feels like where where it's going to be at. Is that is that a, is it possible? Mm-hmm. Is isn't it? Uh, I think we're going to find out fairly shortly. Uh, because they're nearly they're nearly set up actually. They're nearly ready to go. Just waiting for Conglord here to press his ready button and go. I haven't got any of the lobby, have I? No, first person. Only. Uh, the mood first person only. Yep. Conquest, Tom Line, European. Put outs. Well, imagine I flicked it to stock loadouts. Could you imagine the rage? <laughs> okay, ten. Why would you try and inflict that kind of trauma on everyone else? It, and was, it, was, really... it was a little bit traumatic. I'm not going to lie. All right. Let's launch it. Ready to go. Let's get into it. Over to the lobby. Is my is scoreboard actually going to work? I have to turn it off. No, scoreboard is not working again. Uh, have another look at it again. I have no idea what I've got wrong. I need Curl on to come and save the day. <laughs> Something directly. All right, wait for these guys to roll on in before I touch any buttons because we have lovely, lovely bugs on Tormaline and now Polar Highlands, apparently. That was annoying last week, I will admit. Right, do you want to start off on the ITX or the... Uh, I'm on side? the blue team, but I have to wait a little uh, little minute before Drop I... Dropships are in. Buttons. Yeah, I have to wait till the next land on the ground I've worked out. Once they do that, it's very safe. I think it's something to do with the... Commando, production. Mark II, Stormcrow, Linebacker, 1 and 2C, Bloodass, Vulcan, and a Firestarter. Vulcan, not seeing that that often these days. Uh, no, actually. Um, so we've got a Phoenix Hawk, a uh, Firestarter, Flea, a Direwolf, Mad Cat, Hunchback 2C, a, a Black Lantern, and a Stalker. The builds here. Four poles. Uh, just micros on a Hunchback 2C. That's interesting. A few heat sinks. Yeah. Uh, Gaussi, a large from the Direwolf, and Mad Cat. Direwolf, only four. Yeah, okay. Basically, more close. Oh, I can't even click on the flea because it's so small and annoying. Let's have a look at the. Uh, I have my team builds here. What do we have? We have Gauss, Large Pulse, Laser Vom, Laser Vom. Uh, sorry, PPCs and the Bludgeon there. I'm back. Uh, what do we have? Large, yeah, medium, sweet. Yeah, Vulcan. Don't see that too often. Small, medium, pulse. Okay. Cool. All right, we've got the way over here. Heck is Mr. Demuin, Gauss, and yeah, and Cat as well. Okay, cool. So, what we got here? We've got ITX have gone up fairly early uh, to take uh, Theta, but are now coming in, streaming in one by one, actually, towards uh, Gamma, where it almost seems that I hate my team have kind of set up a ambush, but Conglord is about to get absolutely punished here in the back because I have absolutely no idea he's there. Oh no. Oh no. IDX have quite literally caught our Conglord here. No scouting whatsoever uh, from I, I, hate, I hate my team. Oh dear. This is bad. Fight is well and truly on here. Conglord's getting halved. Uh, Extreme Alex though is now going to get uh, caught out. Frio is I'm holding him in the back actually and taking off a torso. Oh no, it's the front side. They're all trying to drive on Frio now. Frio goes down as well. Uh, Barry Shippies here takes out Extreme uh, Alex, but I don't think that Kino is going to get here in time to, well, basically turn it around. Oh, I see Aragon is nearly dead, but not quite. Gets away. If he had a bit of leg, that might have been a little different, but unfortunately it is not. In the meantime, though, we do have someone coming up to Theta uh, pie in the commando there while all of the ITX guys are looking in the other direction. But I don't know if this is going to go so well, mate. What do you think? 
Well, I think they're just going to you know, collapse on Pi and just destroy yep. him. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, oh, click with some gas. Commando eating some gas there in the rear torso by the look of it. Somehow it didn't kill him. The old void armor of the commando right there doing its work. Uh, Aragon here is uh, running around in the open and getting uh, absolutely punished. Nearly lost a leg, but has, hasn't. Oh, geez, it's, that's, that leg's one shot. And I have my team desperate here, desperate here to stop this state of cap. Uh, Pi diving oh, in. Oh, I mean, fair enough. Like, they're, they're sitting on a free cap. Like, they're not particularly desperate to stop it. Pi's no. just you know, overexposing for no reason to four max. Yep, absolutely. Pi diving in there, quite literally going from a 90% commando down to 50 uh that's that's not not the best the, they're after aragon here but um a uh, region here sorry ac whatever i'll just call him but they just they haven't been able to do anything they've got the leg but i mean that's about it and now the long range of itx is just going to completely shred uh i hate my team here completely shred them but yeah like you said they've got a three cap why are they even diving in in the first place <laughs> it doesn't mm. make a lot of sense here i'm not sure what's exactly happening all I need to do really is just. Oh, yeah, look now. You know, Gamma um, counts on his way over there. But I just need to deny him, you know, kill him off. And oh, look, game. GG, close. Yep. You know, you don't need to win in an attractive fashion, so long as you win. That is very, very, very true. Oh, oh there we go. EB takes down AC. AC goes down. Now, yeah, like you said, count is over here. Now, how fresh or not fresh is this? I don't know. Ooh. Ooh, Texan might be able to do it. I mean, the Flea's legs are well to a small pulse fire starter. Could well be taken out in one go. Although, uh, Texan's legs are also open. So, it'll be interesting. Oh, oh, good. A good burn on the leg there. So, Texan got a solid burn on the leg uh, on Count here in the Flea. Oh, and the other leg is open as well. There's no reason Texan can't finish Count off here. This will actually turn the game back around. I'm going to say if the flea goes down, it's actually coming back the other way. I think he's going to be able to do it. Oh, there's three. Oh, no, there's only four. There's only four guys on count. Bang. Yeah, Loses the leg. Yep. Gone. And Texan smartly turns around and goes back to take the cap. Yep. Now, on a wolf over the back here. Oh, Fradak is actually very weak. I don't know what he's been trading with here. Uh, probably... Um, oh, the, maybe Timu, yeah. He's like yeah. CT one touch almost here on the Hunchback 2CA of, uh, of Fradak. But I'm going to say that uh, ITX are actually now, after getting an early couple of kills uh, from the big boy assaults, are actually in quite a bit of trouble here because, well, they can't really sit here in ER large anymore because they're going to have to get off the perches and start moving up and doing something. Yeah, really interesting. I'm going to see wherever he is. Oh, Stormcrow there. Harry Ship he's eating all levels of shit. As he crosses the open ground there. I'm not sure why he would do that. Uh, now, I think the aim here, uh, the Taiwanese rice farmer here is, I think, going to go back and maybe nudge Capra a little bit more. It'll probably be pretty smart, or he's going to go all the way around to Sigma uh, and try and go and sit on that. Because as as you would probably assume, fire starter here from uh, Fredox is heading over to the back. So hey, I'm going to have to jump over to another Discord channel for two seconds. Yep. Um, they're calling in front of a ref. Yep. So Pi uh, is coming back to delay... No, not really delay Theta, actually. Theta's pretty safe there. Um, any, any issues there? Although Pi is super weak. The tickets are now going up further and further in favor of uh, I Hate My Team here. It's looking pretty good for them after a really, really, really bad start. It is looking very, very good. And now Fradak and the Hunchback 2CA, basically one touch. Um, Texan still has a pretty fresh leg. He could almost, once Fradak moves up here, he's going to get taken out. Oh, no! He didn't actually finish him off. Oh, wow. Wow, there he goes. Nearly halved. No, uh, on a wolf there with a pretty dirty burn. And Fradak gets finished off here now. Uh... The Jagas is now hammering, actually, this linebacker here uh, for Onawolf. He's very, very fresh. Very, very fresh, but not able to do much. In the meantime, we do have 
Taiwanese rice farmer who's uh, farmed Fredox here in the fire starter. I'm assuming two legs. Oh, no, no. Got him on the torso there. Ooh, even nicer. And they've stopped this Sigma flip, which basically means now that ITX are not in any way possible going to be able to win this. It's going to be com completely flipped. I would have said after losing two assaults at the start of the game like that, uh, it would have been very, very hard to recover for I Hate My Team, but they have somehow been able to pull it off. That is pretty crazy. Proseco finishes off Timu. Diagas finishes off Honor Wolf there. But the Caps has now sorted it out. Well, well, well. Wow. Crazy. Cray crazy. Actually crazy. All right, looking at damage numbers here. Uh, Unwolf there in the linebacker. And uh, Timu, they're doing the bulk of the work because Spy, 35 damage, not a lot. Uh, Frio and Konglord there both getting uh, farmed very early in the piece, 115 and 133. Uh, a reasonable spread uh, across in terms of average damage numbers for ITX. Uh, but yeah, getting that Black Lana uh, caught out, diving in, and then the uh, Phoenix Hawk, a little bit rough, losing the cap mechs, meaning you lose the roll of the map by the caps. Probably in the end, not the best trade. The bigs for the fast movers. Hmm. All right, I'm back. Sorry for that. That's all right. But I'm going to do a little bit of drawing on the map strat there while I reset this lobby here because that was that was that was interesting. I could yeah. not have told you that was going to happen. <laughs> no way. So in a rough sense, um, majority of um, I have seen actually went up towards Echo Six. Um, obviously, with the intent on disrupting a static trading line. Unfortunately, um, the lights all went up towards Gamma. So the two assaults that were sitting up around Echo Six just got dived and died very rapidly with no support. Yeah. Um, I feel like um, Itex came in a little, little bit strung out. Um... Oh yeah, there was definitely a conga line. Um, I also yeah. think that you know, despite Temu trading well, I think once he'd noticed, oh, okay, they're not all going out into the open, then it would have been better to call out, hey, I can see hardly any of them rushing towards Fata. You know, just be on the lookout. I don't think that happened because <laughs> I hate my team had absolutely no idea that three or four mechs coming around the back. Absolutely no idea. So uh, there's not much else to say, really. Like, um, high overcommitted way too early, I'm and was if it wasn't for Void Armor and that commando, he would have been dead. Yeah, yeah, yep. Ninety-two, not what is it? Ninety, ninety-two percent down to about fifty in a very short space of time. Got absolutely pummeled. But hey, if you live, well, did you watch any of the KDCM matches on Tourmaline last week where they? Oh. They were feeling an incubus to try and you know, interrupt caps on Fader, but it was using machine guns to do it. And it's uh, like, oh. what? But you're staring so long to do it. anything, but what? Okay, that's strange. Incubus. Should be off capping because that's the cap quirk one. Yeah. Now, uh, flick it over to Canyon Network uh, while these guys get ready because I don't think it's going to be too long for these guys to sort out, judging by the. Uh, speed they're getting ready in the lobbies would you like to do a little bit of doodling there mate well i think the big thing with canyon now is that because there's so many more ramps there's so many more options for verticality uh, i think both teams are going to try and set up a largely uh, static trading line they'll be confident in their abilities to actually trade um the light play is what will decide it because i don't think either team are especially confident in their lights um like that's why they want to run such large squads. Just starting to draw a bit. Yep, yep, yep. Hard text nearly, nearly ready up actually. I'm just catching up on some of these quick Discord notifications here in the tickets. Okay. Cool. 
So if you're just uh, joining us, we have uh, I Hate My Team have won the uh, first drop after a very, very, very rough start to the match. Uh, ended up pulling it out. Play almost from an ITX over commitment. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Um, Rather than better play. All, <laughs> yeah, like I think ITX were committed to trading and in the progr process, um, their lights just got caught out without any support. Yeah, the conga line definitely hurt them too. I think if they got in there at the same time, deleted something, and then got out of there very, very quickly, it would have been a lot, uh, a lot more beneficial. All right, I check locked. Yep, locked. Guys, up and running. And what do we have for Canyon? Oh, you think a kappa? Team two's going to do a kappa play. Ooh, ooh. I think. Yeah, I think so. I think it makes sense for if you've got a light who you're not especially confident in, like it doesn't seem like they're confident in Pi, but they'd send him off to go for Kappa first to try and give him that free cap. If you watch every single one of their matches so, so far, they try and go for the early, grab free caps, and then try to dictate the terms of a fight. Yeah, you're right, actually. True. That is very true. Early three caps. Right, and, you're not gonna, right, and they're not going to go for Fado initially because they'll be. I'm um, confident that uh, if we go on to Fado, we'll just get dived on. Yeah. Or they might you know, get shellacked from across the map by yeah, large and Gauss. What they're more likely to do is take Gamma and Kappa initially, then assess, make the play for Fado if they can, once they've actually looked to apply a bit of a squeeze. Yeah, I suppose, yeah, if they're all like, sort of sitting on Fado and you've like, got the two edges, you can kind of do what you want in some ways. I mean, I mean, look, Theta is traditionally the cap you want to go and cap, right? But <laughs> some teams, yeah, they've actually avoided Theta entirely. And then if you commit four mechs to Theta to defend it, and there's, well, no one there to <laughs> to shoot, then, yeah, it can definitely work. I think, honestly, what I'm seeing from a lot more teams now is yeah, we don't need to cap Theta as long as we deny it to the enemy. Yeah, mm. At that point, if we've got two caps and they've only got one, yeah, well, we're still winning. Yeah, if they go for a second cap and go for Epsilon, well, they're pulling away some of their force and their mech, but so Kappa can run straight up Sigma and back cap them without worrying about opposition. Especially some maps too. Theta is a little bit unbalanced in that. Not necessarily unbalanced, but I mean, one side is stronger than the other for Theta. I mean, maps have different good and bad parts. Tormaline, uh, obviously, in one, you know, is definitely the favoured side um, for Theta, but I'm not really sure it matters. On Canyon, uh, it does actually. Like, Team Two has um, much easier visibility of a opponent capping than Team One does. That's true. Team Two, you can actually sit back on the cap as well. I think one side of it ever so slightly. Mm -hmm. A little bit rough on that. One. Yeah, like it's just to your right as you're coming towards the cap, yeah. and you're out of visibility because you've got a rock in front of you. Very small things. Imagine a small rock. Very, very important in early game phases. Remember, rock beats scissors. <laughs> the old rock paper and mm -hmm. Still true. Still rings true. Now, it looks like uh, I have my team uh, shuffling everybody around now, so it isn't too, too far away from kicking off. I would hope. Get easy. Mm. Oh. Ah, they're all ready. They're all ready to go. Oh, bang. Let's, let's do it. Get into it. Actually makes it easy when all the teams are on the same side. So yeah. much. Right, looking at what's in there, I, in, um, I have my team's roster. Um, I think Yondu being by himself and Charlie, he'll be assigned to control Epsilon. Uh, he probably won't be, you know, going to cap it. He'll just be aiming to... Yeah. I'd either say, with VR large or like, just, you know, deny it. I'd say that's definitely... Me. Well, I'm on the ITX side. So, uh, hang on, no one. I am on the red team side. You can do the blue team if you like. That up. 
blue team side is the ICX. Yep. Yep. An executioner, a Mad Cat Two, Death Strike, Commando, Hellbringer, Virago, Night Gear, Veagle, Firestarter, and Vulcan. What is this? Twenty nineteen. <laughs> oh, it may be. So we've got a lot of ER large here for uh, I Hate My Team. Uh, although the uh, Mad Cat on the uh, I Hate My Team is actually uh, three ER large ER mediums. And Gauss ER large, uh, Nike ER, Vigil. So yeah, I Hate My Team going for the very big long play. And even the um, the Vulcan here is um, large lasers and ER mediums. Yeah, that was a mech he used oh, in um, Conky. Early. I Hate My Team very, very easily... I almost completely uncontested taking Theta really early. Wow, that's huge. That's actually really important. Yep, here we go. Free cap. Yep. Just checking on the builds here on the uh, I have a T. Uh, sorry, on the uh, ITX side. Forty uh, PBC uh, Highlander, Dolph, Gassi, a large stalker. Well, look at this side. Like, they're not just taking the cap. They're aiming to full cap Theta. Yep. Yeah, look at that pie. Oh shit, pie ate something. Yeah, uh, right towards the end. Ooh. Yep. And a pile of PBCs was it? I don't know. I was actually. <laughs> I saw, just saw them shoot across the map. I wasn't, wasn't entirely sure what that was. Uh, but look at that. Look at that strong early map and cap here from I hate my team. Now, ITX is starting to move up onto Theta to try and do something about it. But this is going to be going to be really risky here. Very, very risky. But can they stop the flea? I mean, Pi almost has to eat a bit of shit here to stop this cat, but is not, is, isn't, isn't doing anything. ITX are completely free to just we'll continue capping. Pi is diving in there now. Did stop the cap, but uh, ITX right, not said, for long. No. I know I got two mechs. Yep. Well, it stops it again, but it is not going to be enough to flip it. Oh, Jesus. There's just, just shots going on all over the map here. And ITX have managed to flip the cap back now. That's actually pretty... It's actually pretty important. Most of the I Hate My Team guys were just not in positions well enough. I feel like Texan in the Vulcan, though, could have been on the rock over here or something and denying Theta, but was was not able to do it. Um, ITX have now fully capped, as you can see, Theta. Fully, <laughs> fully capped it there. A lot of there's a lot of training going on here from I have my team in a big fat group here, um, eating a lot actually. The is eating uh, a lot of shit. Very. Oh, uh, look at their wolf pack! Is you know all pulling back, like probably heading around towards Kappa now. Yep. Yeah. Now, if Texan's not watching, and I don't think he is. Oh no, no, no he, he, is. he must have just seen them. Yeah, I was going to say I'm not sure if he saw them coming around the the, uh, the edge here or not, but he did. Uh, so ITX are now backing up after their uh, little plan there was foiled. They were, they were caught. Well, I mean, they're foiled, but, you know, you can say foiled, but they what they did was they yanked Freemax out of position That's for true. long enough to eke out and a few more points on Fada. That is true. That is very true. Fradak here has not been making uh, all that good uh, trades. He's basically nearly lost the torso here on the Hunchback 2C. Now, there is this Theta fight going on again, Come back to that in a sec. Here we go. So Pi is trying to take it back. There's shots coming from all across the map now. Uh, at the ITX guys trying to stop the commando here on Theta. This is this is furious. This is just constant shooting everywhere. There is blue lasers all over the map. Well, and look at the health levels on Fratak. Yep. And even Prosecco as well. Yeah, Prosecco's getting harassed here, um, actually, by Texan. And the Wolfpack here for ITX comes back around the other side. They're sort of stalling here a little bit, maybe having a little bit of a think about what's about to happen. Yeah, Prosecco is definitely not winning these trades. And they though. managed to flip Fader back. Yep. Jeez, this is a lot more action than Kenyon normally has. A lot of stuff going on. Oh, now Prosecco. Oh! Three, oh. three into one. Three guys then shot Prosecco all at once. Bang, bang, bang. Straight through the CT. Gets him down. Um, Fradak has also lost the torso here. There's a dirty, dirty scrap now on Theta. It is all... Oh, all Extreme happening. is getting gangbanged from three directions. Yeah. Alex, look at that. That is 
basically half the map of angles, that black land is not going to live. No way. There's no way that... Oh, no, he does. Alex somehow gets away uh, with his solitary small, small laser there. That's not good. That is not good. I have my team now. Their percentages are looking exceptionally good. Uh, Extreme, Fradak, and Boss all super low. Very, very low percentages here. Oh, Fradak goes down, gets nuked uh, by Timu there. I think I think the snowball's about to start here for mm. I hate my team. They're I really think it's just pretty. too many overlapping angles, like takes and takes yep. down Boss. Just so I hate my team just has the everywhere. They just have angles on the map all over the place. Uh, now the light pack here for uh, ITX is looking to do something. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. They're trying to push on Kong Lord here. Kong Lord is uh, CT open, uh, torso open now as well. They're going to be able to finish him off. No, he's shielding as hard as he can. Tex is in here. Uh, Barry's in here. Kong, Kong Lord goes down. They do get him out. Uh, but this Black Ladder is at 17% with one weapon. This is crazy. Uh, trying to finish off the Nike here. Click on him. There we go. Go, Barry. Do it for your country. <laughs> Barry gets taken out. Finny, uh, Frio finishes off. Uh, uh, Alex there. And I missed that last kill and who it was. Oh, I think Count's been legged in the flea. I do believe so. Yes. Leg flea bags. No more giving fleas to the enemy here. Timu finishes off Count there. Uh, Otterwolf is rolling in here. Diagas gets finished off by the Taiwanese rice farmer. And Fredox is also legged. So it is going to be a couple of seconds. And it is going to be sorted out. Well, well, I'll tell you what, that was a lot more action than a normal Canyon game. Mm. Boy, oh, gee, there was, uh, I've never that seen That was constant a really shooting. rapidly shifting pendulum. I've never seen constant shooting like this on Canyon. Oh, damage numbers run us through it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Texan with 647, uh, PB with 525, Barry 360, Temu 518. But, you know, Texan, three of those kills in that Vulcan of his. Taiwanese rice farmer farming for his life with 722 damage. Over on the ITX side, like, it's pretty even and consistent damage. Um, Fratak, 370. I just think that some of his trades, he overexposed a bit early. Well, the ITX guys, um, and, and yeah, Fratak doing a, the bulk of the work, but uh, just the, um, sorry, ITX. The I hate my team guys just had angles like quite literally half of three quarters of the map was completely controlled um, with all of the range and I think it left um, ITX kind of a bit well what do we do they they're all range even the Vulcan was uh, was long range the only one that wasn't was the fire starter oh, right map strat mate this is going to be a busy one for you. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of things you're going to need to be drawing on this one. Well, and that's the uh, end of it, like, because it's the best of three. So, 2-0. Yep. Yeah, 2-0. Yeah, I hate my team. Do take it out 2-0. So they will uh, They will progress. Oh, it's going to work out. And well. that's ITX eliminated from the tournament. Oh, it is? Yeah, because it's their second loss. They lost against KDCM last week and lost here. Double elimination. Oh, wow. So that's the first um, team eliminated, uh, like outright. By the end of today, we'll have another three teams who are eliminated. Hmm. Well, there you go. Well played to ITX out of the... I, think I actually forgot this was... Um, <laughs> I forgot what bracket we were playing. This is the do or die round. Yeah, do or die bracket, quite literally. All right, what happened that map, mate? Uh, let's draw that one out and then we'll um, send them over to Leagues 2 because the next cast will start in about uh, five minutes, ten minutes. Not already. I think they're already up, mate. Oh, they're already up? Oh. I thought it started five minutes. Oh, maybe their claws a little early. Okay. No, it started at 2.30. Like, my, 2.30 my time. So it's been going for you know, a while now. Oh, I thought there was an hour in between the casts. Uh, right, okay. What happened in that game? So, as you can see from what I've drawn there, well, ITX set themselves up pretty statically along the south of the edge of the map um, with their wolf pack basically sitting around E4, able to redeploy over to, over to D3 
or over to fader as we need to. That worked out okay. Um, where I think they went wrong a bit was if you look at where their traders were, they had a couple of guys, France I concluded on like the E4 uh, ridge, but then in the E5, they had the Direwolf and one of them like, ready to respond to an Epsilon push. When it became clear that um, I have my team weren't in fact going to be doing that, those mechs that were over an E5 really needed to reposition. And I probably would have put the Hunchback 2C over an E5 rather than the Direwolf, mm. um, just because the Hunchback's got a bit more speed, able to reposition better. Now, I had my team, on the other hand, um, all took Kappa them, early. Yeah, all, no, all, took all Kappa all early, them. like I said, took Sigma early with a sliver cap, took Fader early and forced ITX to spend a disproportionate amount of time on it. Um, basically ignored Epsilon except to, you know, set Yondu up for um, some PR large spam, but literally just rotated around and just put multiple overlapping angles. Like, you look at when it was Fratak or whoever was in the... Um, Oh, the Highlander 2C. Uh, that was uh, Prosecco. Yeah, when I took down Prosecco, you called it out precisely that there were three different people firing at him at the same time, all from different angles, straight into the CT. You can't twist that off. When you're being hit from multiple angles like that, all you can do is just, you know, if you've got no cover nearby, is just suck it up. The three, I'm pretty certain roughly the three yellow arrows there were all just, all fire just coming in. Like all, all at once, just bang, 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 and yeah, he just, just got wiped. I mean, he was already, I think, orange CT at the time, or yellow, like already, uh, maybe yellow structure at the time, and then yeah, just got annihilated. Oh yeah, that was... there we go. So just talking to Kraz, um they fixed up the banning, um, but raid them or oh, raid leads leaks too when we're done. Yep, that's what I'll do. And there was quite a bit of a light scrap sort of in this E3 region here where um, I had my team um, sort of controlled the map a little bit. Um, and the ITX guys tried to, again, they just kept trying to get in, in into there and, and, and get up, but they're just eating too much damage uh, every time trying to do so. I feel like maybe ITX are kind of like, hang on a minute, what do we do with a little light pack here? It's really hard to make something happen. That's kind of... After losing, you know, losing Theta, getting Theta back, then flicking it back again. Very, very tough game there for uh, ITX and uh, well played from I Hate My Team. Yeah, absolutely. All righty. Well, let's round out this cast. Uh, we will be back in... Uh, how long am I back? Half an hour, is it? Be back? Oh. Yep. But oh, I mean, one thing I'd point out about ITX for people, you know, talk, you know, Talking about them. These guys haven't played comp since 2016 as a team. Long like, time. At, at Div C EU level. So if you consider how far they've come in that time, that's no small feat, frankly. Yeah, not bad at all, actually. Not not, not bad at all. I have to agree with you. All right, well, we'll call the cast here. Uh, send you over to MWO Leagues 2. Uh, we'll be back here in half an hour, give or take. Uh, for loot versus uh, fifth Jaguar Dragoons. Let's call them, call them JDs, I think, because I got it so badly wrong uh, last last week about 15 times. But yeah, we'll send you over to Bear, Claw and Kraz, uh, who are casting the other match. And yeah, we're back in about half an hour. Cheers. <laughs>